happy people i'm back with another video and in today's video i'm going to show you all how to do press on nails for your toenails okay recently i did a timu nail supply haul and i hauled these full cover um toenail press on nail tips if you all haven't seen that video i am going to link it down in the description box below but um i got a pack of 600 pieces press on toenails i just want to show you all how um i make a set of press on toenails this is actually my very first time doing it and i do have all the nails out i just picked one of each um, size this particular set of full cover nail tips came with 12 so um here's the first five the other five and then the last two toenails on here so i'm going to show you all really quick how i prep the press on nails i'm just going to show you with one set but i'm going to show you all how i prep them prime them and get them ready um for longevity so um yeah the first thing i'll do is i want to go in with um some acetone and that's what I'm gonna use to etch the, the inside of the nails. I normally just use my brush from this brush cleanser. I'll take some acetone and a little dapping dish. And what I'll do is I'll use that to just etch the, the nail, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick. And when you're etching the nail, you just wanna scrub that acetone into that press on toenail. And once you feel it start to get a little bit sticky, that's how you know that it's been properly etched. So you'll go ahead and do that on all of the nails. Well, toenails. <laughs> And if you all could see on the surface of the nail, you see how it looks a little um, sticky now? That's how you know that you've properly etched it with the acetone, okay? And then from there, I go in with my Young Nails Primer to prime all the nails. This is gonna ensure that the gel polish properly adheres to the full cover tip. After that primer has been applied to all the nails, next what I'm gonna do is go in with a base coat. I am gonna be using my Model 1's base and top coat for this. So first I'm gonna go in with my Model 1's um, base coat and apply this to all the nails. And this base coat is just gonna ensure, again, more adhesion to the press on nails. After the base coat is applied, you'll want to just flip it for 10 seconds, then cure for 60. From here, you want to go in with two coats of your gel polish of choice. I'm going to be doing all white toenail press on nails because I know that white is a very popular color, especially for the toes. And so I have really been enjoying my um, McCart gel polish in Blanc. I love this white. It's one of my faves right now. And so you'll want to just go ahead and apply that to all the nails actually running really really low on my gel polish so um I, yeah, I have to find a new white here soon okay happy people so i discovered that i really enjoy doing the press on toenails i feel like because the surface area is so small for the nail itself it takes half the time to do a full set of the toenail press on nails so i think i'm gonna enjoy doing these for the shop that i sell them at because it takes like half the time to make them especially when it's just a solid color but yeah i really enjoyed making these nails Alrighty, so this is what two layers of the white gel polish looks like the last thing left to do is just go in with your top coat i'm going to go in with my model one's top coat um and all the products that i'm using i am going to be sure to link them down in the description box below but yeah you'll just top coat the nails and then we'll be all done needless to say i'm definitely enjoying these press on toenails from timu um i think that i want to try to make another set with them but then maybe do some designs with those acrylic pens that i recently got from timu as well let me know if you guys want to see that in another video but yeah let's get into the finished look all right you guys ain't she cute though yes so this is officially my first set of toenail press on nails um yeah this white is popping it's really pretty it's really cute again i know this is a really popular color for toenails and i just love the way they turned out um so stay tuned to the end i'm going to show you all what 
they are going to look like actually packaged um before i send them off to the local shop that i sell them at alrighty so this is what all the press on nails looks like completed and with top coat i did repeat that process on all the other nails too but i just did that off camera these are all of the press on nails here and it's so crazy how small these toenails get like they are so itty bitty but yeah you guys yeah let me know have you all ever worn or tried or made um toenail press on nails i'd be curious to know i have a few in my collection but i've never actually worn them before so i might actually try to give these a go i am going to leave all the products that i use in the video link down in the description box below so if y'all want to check them out you can this is what my press on toenails are looking like all packaged and ready to go how cute are they you guys so these are the cards that i use for my press on nails that i sell at the shops here locally i am hoping to bring these to my website soon so definitely stay tuned for that you all i'm just it's a work in progress but i'm slowly but surely getting there yeah and one of these days i'll make a dedicated video showing how i apply my own homemade press on nails and do wear tests and things like that so yeah this is rose beauty luxury press on nails i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family i'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye